It's been 11 months since these junior doctors were engaged by government as are graduating from medical school. However, they are yet to receive a penny for their efforts to save lives. It's 4 o'clock mm -hmm. a.m. in the morning. And I think our message is straightforward. Yes, we've been working tirelessly for almost 11 months now without pay. And anytime you make attempts, calling at the controller's uh, department for what is due us, they give us all sorts of reasons. And the most of them has to do with me turning out with our documentation. And we've heard that from the radio stations, we've heard that on the television stations for uh, the people who matter. So our main aim is to present all these documentations that they've been talking about and give it to them and wait for them to give us our some of these junior doctors have come from Sunyani Bo and other parts of the northern region to Accra just so they can have their pay. I'm okay. just coming out from a meeting with the controller herself. Down, and down. Then, I'm sorry. With the controller herself and then the minister, uh, deputy minister of health. I mean, a few uh, promises have been made. We've gotten them to put it down that hopefully by Friday our concerns will be addressed. But as you can see, it's been told my people and they are not, they are not very happy. Most of them are still hell-bent on uh, staying here. So currently we, are told we have a meeting, another meeting scheduled with the Minister of Employment and Labour Relations. So after that, the uh, final decision will be taken. Uh, we being here is no fault of ours. We are basically suffering. We are basically the victims of systemic failure. And we have promised we are not only doing this for ourselves, we are looking at the next group of doctors who will be coming out from med school in just about two weeks' time. So they are promising to do everything. So After almost three hours of negotiations with government officials and the controller and accountant general, there appears to be some light at the end of the tunnel. I'm aware that the controller and the deputy minister for health have conveyed to you a decision on the fate of 64 house officers who will be paid this month and who in fact should the money should hit their accounts not later than Wednesday 4 30 p.m. on Wednesday the uh, monies are being released accordingly and it was already part of the controller process of July payment what is outstanding is in respect of some 27 other doctors to which we have collectively agreed that Wednesday from 2 p.m we will find a mechanism through their health institutions for them to receive some compensation whilst Control and Accountant General finalizes the process for, also for them to get their salaries and pay in August. That being the case, I expect the junior of, uh, doctors who are picketing here to reconsider their decision and trust that by Wednesday, government would honor our part of the promise. But legitimately, as I've admitted, you have a good case. I mean, nobody, nowhere in the world should work for six, nine months without being paid. It's not the first time such assurances have been made by government. That's notwithstanding, these doctors say they will take government at its promise. This agreement we've come to, that 64 of us, we've actually seen the pay slips will be paid come the end of the month and for the 27 of us through honorable's intervention we would be receiving the full 11 month salaries come wednesday two o'clock at the various institutions we have uh, heard him and then we believe this is the case we have a memorandum of understanding to that effect and we are hoping that come wednesday um, all our grievances will be addressed we trust what we have seen and like we have always called for we just needed something to be shown and something to be done as soon as possible. So I mean, we are reasonable people. We can wait till Wednesday, 4:30, and expect, as Honourable have said, that all our 11 months arrears will be hitting everybody's accounts.